Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to episode number 10 of my Slasher Movie Archives. In this video, I will be giving my review for Amputee with an Axe, released in 1975, according to the back of the DVD. This movie is also known as Matthew, Claw of Terror, Scream Bloody Murder, and Captive Female. IMDb has its release date as 1972, and considering this movie was released under multiple titles, it makes sense that it had multiple release dates. There's also a short film that's included called The Attendant, and I will also be giving my review for it as well. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one, Matthew, a deranged young man with a hook for a hand, uses all kinds of weapons to murder and torture women. He becomes obsessed with a prostitute that he will take as his bride, whether she likes it or not. The Attendant, a short film that concerns a bathroom attendant and the being he cares for, which resides in the urinal. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. This movie was low budget as hell, so it's not going to be for everybody, and I'm talking 1970s low budget, so the filming quality isn't great at all, but I will say at least you can see everything, so there's no lighting issues with it being too dark to see what's going on. But visually, this movie looks pretty rough, or at least it does on this release. I also feel like watching it on a 4K TV or HD TV doesn't do it any favors either. So I know all this sounds negative so far, but with all that being said, I had an absolute blast watching this movie. I went into it with low expectations, and technically, it's not a great movie, but I was entertained by it. So before I continue on with the Amputee with an Axe, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the bonus short film that's included. It's called The Attendant. It's roughly somewhere around two minutes long. We have a bathroom attendant who flips a coin into a urinal. A guy comes in and takes a piss, and he's killed by a tentacle that comes from the urinal. And that's it. I don't really have all that much to say about it. I kind of felt like it was pointless, but it was so weird and so random and short, I thought it was worth checking out. There's not really much to it. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the characters we have in Amputee with an Axe. So Matthew is the main character to this movie's storyline, and considering he is the killer, I'm going to cover him in full detail in the killer and the kill section of this review. So we have Matthew's parents. Matthew's father was killed in an accident when Matthew was very young. I believe they called it a farm tractor, but it was clearly a bulldozer. Something happens to it, and Matthew's dad makes a stop while using it and walks in front of it to investigate a problem with the equipment. Young Matthew climbs aboard and puts it into gear and crushes his father. Naturally, this scares Matthew, so he jumps off the running bulldozer only to get his hand caught underneath. His mother, Daisy, sends him away with a nun, and Matthew's mutilated hand is replaced with a hook. Years later, Matthew returns home to find out that his mother has remarried, and he now has a stepfather named Mac. Mac seems to be very supportive of Daisy and is more than willing to do his part to make things work out and be a family. But Matthew isn't having it. He wants his mother all to himself. Another really important character to this movie's storyline is a prostitute named Vera, who Matthew insists on calling Daisy after his mother. Matthew has taken a liking to Vera and is obsessed with her. We also have a few other side characters that include a recently married couple who make the mistake of giving Matthew a ride. We also have a sailor who is dressed in a full sailor's uniform, and he is one of Vera's customers. But out of all the side characters we have in this movie, and there's quite a few of them, the one that stood out the most for me was Dr. Epstein, played by the late, great Angus Grimm. That's right, the tall man himself makes a brief appearance in this movie. Overall, I really enjoyed the characters we have in Amputee with an Axe. Even though the acting wasn't all that great, I still thought the characters were interesting enough. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. So Matthew is a very troubled young man, and that's an understatement. He is obsessed with his mother and doesn't want any man touching her. When they do, he freaks out 
and begins his murderous rampage. And this might be a slight spoiler, but after all, this movie has been out over 40 years, so I'm going to give a little bit away. Matthew accidentally kills his mother by throwing her down, and she hits her head on a rock. From this point on, he begins to see tripped-out visions of his dead mother when he sees people being sexually active. It's like a trigger for him. There's also a few times throughout the movie that he would kill out of pure necessity if he needed someone out of the way. I really like the setup for the Matthew character. He felt very unpredictable, and you really never knew what he was going to do next. His mind most definitely worked in mysterious ways. I also wanted to say that when he would see visions of his dead mother, it kind of put me in mind of the ending to Maniac. I'm not sure if they drew any inspiration from this movie, but I couldn't help but think of Maniac. And as far as the kills go in this movie, it has a really high body count. We have somewhere around 10 or 11 kills, so that's quite a few. I did want to say that unfortunately, we only have one axe kill in this entire movie. To me, the title suggests that the killer goes on an axe-wielding murdering spree, but that's just not the case, which makes me feel like one of the alternate titles would have been a better fit for this movie. But there's no denying that Amputee with an Axe is a catchy title. We do get a wide variety of kills. We have meat cleaver kills, throats getting cut, and of course we have people getting killed with the hook hand. We don't always get a good look at the kills, but overall, I thought the kills were a lot of fun to watch, and I was a little surprised because there's quite a bit of blood in this movie. Overall, I had a fun time watching Amputee with an Axe, and I really dig the ending to this movie, but it's kind of hard for me to recommend. I feel like diehard slasher movie fans will be able to overlook its flaws and enjoy it. But otherwise, I can't really recommend it to casual horror movie fans or mainstream horror fans. This one is only going to appeal to fans of low-budget slasher movies. IMDb give it a 4.8. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Amputee with an Axe. Or just let me know what you think about my review. And as always, I would like to thank you all for watching.